Hey guys, Anthony Mercurio with Prime Movement Performance here talking a little bit about mobility. What does it mean? Why is it important? And how can, it, how can we improve it to make sure our movements are better and we can stay safe and healthy for a long time, okay? First, flexibility and mobility kind of get interchanged a lot. But essentially it is, how much can we move through a range of motion? So let's take a flexibility of our hamstrings or a basic mobility test as a standing uh, toe touch. So I'm here and I'm trying to touch my toes, okay? Now why is that important? For a movement like the deadlift or a movement like a squat or any movement that we're doing with lower body, we have to make sure that we are safe and controlled to be able to get into those ranges of motion. If I can't touch my toes and I go here, then when I'm trying to deadlift or pull something from the floor, the rest of the way, my hamstrings won't allow me to do it, so I have to do it from my, my lower back. So if we just look at that basic test of a toe touch, then we kind of run into some issues with some other stuff. There are a tons of different mobility and flexibility assessments that carry over into different movements, all the way from our ankles down to our wrists. Now, depending on the movement that we're talking about, those things all can play a role interchangeably. What I should, I think the easiest way to show you in, in when we're talking about mobility, especially like overhead, this is the one that I've been running into a lot recently, is that folks when they do pull-ups or when they hang, they can't get their arms fully extended. So if I'm come over here to the pull-up bar. So if I'm on the pull-up bar and I'm always kind of like here with my elbows slightly bent, when I need to get all the way here, right? So this would be similar to me pressing a weight over my head and being in those positions. As I'm coming down in the bottom of the pull-up, so if I get myself over, and as I'm coming down in the pull-up, I'm actually lengthening the muscles of my bicep and of my lats as I go down. So every movement has a lengthening and a shortening part of the movement. If I take a bicep curl, it's gonna be very similar to the pull-up, and it kind of makes more sense for um, to kind of look at it this way. So as I come up, I am shortening my bicep. So as I come up, I'm shortening my bicep. As I go down, my bicep is lengthening and actually stretching, and that's what gives us the soreness, is it that eccentric or the lengthening or stretching of the muscle. So when I'm doing an exercise like a pull-up, if I constantly stop here, instead of going all the way down, or if I do bicep curls, and I never straighten my arms all the way, over time, those muscles will be super tight because I don't train them through the fullest range of motion. And that happens in our squat, that happens in our deadlift, that happens on a bench press if I stop here, right? Or if I'm doing a push-up, if I get on the floor here, and I do a push-up, and I'm only doing this part of the push-up over and over again, I'm only strengthening these short ranges of motion. Charles Poliquin, famous strength and conditioning coach, is quote, quoted as saying, the, the strength is gained in the range that is trained. So you only gain strength in the range of motion that you're training, and in turn, you also build flexibility in those ranges by being able to go into those ranges of motion, even if they're at an assisted or lighter weight. One of the ways that we can work on those is just hanging passively, right? So if we're going back to the pull-up example, if I just hang passively, right, it allows me to actually build some overhead flexibility and mobility, and hanging in general is great for my wrist, my elbow, and my shoulders. Okay, if I'm sitting in the bottom of a squat, right, a lot of folks struggle, tr struggle to get into a squat position. So if I wanted to get a better squat, right, I could do all these tests and smash my calves and open up my hips and do that stuff, but really the best thing to do is get into the bottom of a squat. Right? So if I can get into the bottom of a squat and I can use this as assistance, now I can strengthen and build flexibility in these ranges of motion. So when I go to squat in different ways, I can do that. And I may want to hang out here and just move from side to side, maybe press the knees open, maybe squeeze and contract. So I can build more flexibility by actually doing these exercises in their fullest range of motion than trying to like say if I added weight and I can only squat to here, again, the strength is only gained in that range that is trained and in turn, the flexibility is only gained there too. So over time, I'm gonna have to, all those muscles be really short and tight from only working partial reps. So moral of the story here is yes, I can sit here and hold and build some flexibility on some passive stretching, but what, what allows us to hit the save button and make that flexibility sticky and that mobility sticky is doing it 
through and exercising through the full range of motion to allow us to be able to build mobility in those exercises. So when we carry over to actually do the exercises, it has more carryover and it works out a lot better for us. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.